Hello everyone, welcome to YRC. Today we've got an Axial Yeti overview slash review and um, it's Joe's car so I'll let him take it away and just give you all the detail. Hey guys, this is Joe from YRC. This is my Axial Yeti. I'll just be doing a quick overview of the car and the remote. Uh, we'll go on to the remote first. It is a very nice design. Uh, Pistol grip, quite comfortable. Uh, nice trigger as well. And it's not too sensitive to when you're driving, which is nice. 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, it's got a flip up aerial, which is really good. It gets a bit, it's a very long range. I haven't been able to run it out of range yet. Uh, drop down wheel design with a very comfortable padding on around the wheel. Very springy, lots of recoil. Uh, on off switch at the back with lights coming through the plastic, which is very nice. Underneath the plastic is the steering trim, and steering dual rate, and throttle trim, and uh, steering neutral forward and reverse, and throttle forward and reverse, which is nice. And it keeps it all very protected too, which is nice. So if you drop it, it doesn't it doesn't break anything. Uh, it takes four AA batteries, uh, which are very nice. It doesn't take too many. Uh, moving on to what doesn't come with the car. Uh, it doesn't come with a battery or charger. It is designed to run on 3S LiPos, but I only run it on a 500 milliamp hour uh, two cell, just so you don't just so it doesn't break anything. You don't want to, and it comes with a Dean's connector, which is nice, very standard. Uh, the car itself looks very good. It's got very very nice wheels, very soft, go around rocks, give you lots of traction. They are foam filled, but there is a little bit of foam with an open diff at the front and a locked diff at the rear. And there's the on and off switch up in there, nice and protected. Uh, the inside of the car is very nice. It's got a nice cast creation uh, motor and ESC. It's got an it's got a waterproof servo and the water and ESC and engine are also waterproof. It's got a nice big transmission with uh, strong gears and the receiver box is also waterproof. Uh, it's got a nice long battery cord so if you've got a short battery it, uh, the short battery cord it'll still reach it and the battery box is up the back here. Pull, this, pull the body pin out, the door will open, you can slide it in and out like so. Very safe. Uh, the suspension very soft at the back, pretty solid, uh, pretty solid at the front, which is good. It doesn't sort of sag down and hit many too, too many rocks when you're going up to them. Uh, I have had one break with this. Uh, the rear axle here has uh, completely stripped in here. It has completely done like a 360 on itself and completely stripped everything. But this is an easy to replace and remove axle. It took me five minutes to replace. It was really good. Uh, it's a bit flimsy with the sway bars for the rear hub. There, are, I probably will replace them with aluminium ones eventually, which you can get because the kit version of the Yeti has aluminiums. Solid plastic, hardened plastic uh, belly plate at the bottom. It's really, really thick. It's good, strong. Oh, it's just a few Allen keys. It doesn't come. It only comes with a four-way wrench. The car only comes with a four-way wrench, and you need to get. A 1.5 mil Allen key, a 2 mil Allen key, and a 2.5 mil Allen key uh, separately for all the Allen key uh, hex screws. And uh, it's very, very polished, very thought, very well thought through design, with the uh, in, inner cage on the body. And it's got really nice detailing. They've done a really good job with the paint. You can get other bodies from it. Uh, Proline, I know, do a few. Uh, some overall features of the car. Uh, when you're on a standstill, the servos are only able to turn the wheels a small bit. But when you are moving, it's fine. They must they they are easier to turn. They turn a bit sh sharper. Uh, it's, we haven't tested it for complete waterproofing yet, but I've brought it in a lot of dew and everything's been wet. Um, I've driven up lots of mountains. We have a property out west a bit, and it's got uh, very steep hills, and it's been flying up those. It really amazed me. Of its off-road capabilities are incredible. Uh, these wheels, or the rims, are 2.2 inch. Uh, they, it's 
semi glued a semi bead lock on on the outside it's glued here and on the inside over there are beads you've got a on the inside there they're pretty it's all right I got a little drill to do it because it takes a while but otherwise it's pretty good our off-road capabilities is absolutely amazing I've run it on very steep hills dewy very steep hills no slippage got up a hundred meter hill almost 45 degree absolutely no problem I've bought it in a quarry as well in an old uh, gravel quarry it did really well in there, really loose gravel, I could barely walk through it myself up the steep hill, it just flew up there a little ledge, it's rolled heaps, the little ledge, I hit it. I hit a little lip and it rolled down like a 10 metre slope, it rolled like 15 times and it come down, I checked it, nothing was cracked I'm like half unscrewed, broken anything, it was really good um, uh, the, uh, the front drive shafts have got a bit of surface rust on them, I noticed that the other day, but we're in a quite a salty coastal environment with salt spray, so from the beaches. So I'm sure that's probably just, it's not really a big deal, it's only surface rust. If it rusts through, I'll just get new ones, they're pretty cheap. Uh, the car comes with a lot of spare parts. It comes with three bags of spare parts. One of those bags has got a little bit of decal in it. You can get, you can mount radiator with radiator fans. Very decal, very good scale. It's got a de deco fuel tank at the back here. That's just for, it doesn't actually do anything, it's just for looks, it's really clever. I'll uh, give it probably a bit of internal strength as well. Um, and it <clears throat> comes with a lot of a lot of spare parts. I've, the axle I replaced just through spare parts. It was really good enough to order anything in. It was absolutely amazing. Just an overall roundup of the car. Uh, it's an absolutely amazing vehicle. Actually, I've done a really good job with it, considering they usually do trail trucks. It's a really good rock racer. Um, it's pretty cheap for what it is. It's it wasn't too much. It's just over six hundred Australian dollars, and uh, yeah, just, it's a, it's really amazed me and surprised me, and it's quite big too for a one tenth scale truck. It's it's nice. It's not it's like not too small, but it's pretty big. It's probably I would say it's one eighth. I would I would class it as a one eighth truck. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh